You have given out your growth outlook for 2022. Um, Growth will come between four point. In fact, you've upgraded your growth outlook for 2022 between 4.7 percent and 5.5 percent. What is the downside risk of the new variant to this outlook? Well, uh, I think uh, uh, the government under President Joko Widodo aware of that, and we are supporting uh, of their uh, uh, this movement. The key is, of course, uh, acceleration of the vaccination for Indonesian people. We are closing to 37%. Hopefully, uh, early next year, we'll be closing 55, 57%. And uh, on that, I think the, you know, herd immunity uh, will, uh, can be uh, achieved. But at the same time, opening up some of the sector, which is secure from the COVID and supporting the economic growth. Where are the certain banks supporting of this? Remember? that we already announced the third agreement uh, between uh, Governor of Central Bank and Minister of Finance, that the Central Bank financing of the budget for the health uh, and humanity uh, you know, uh, budget uh, amounting to 115 IDR trillion this year and 224 IDR trillion. This is the support of the Central Bank to ensure that people of Indonesia vaccination and uh, that we are uh, more uh, able uh, to, uh, you know, uh, to withstand from the new uh, variant. Of course, we are hoping for the best for, you know, uh, to the God Almighty for our uh, safety as well as security of the people, Tanvir. Right. And so on inflation, which is, of course, the key talking point and the key challenge the central banks are facing around the world. Uh, your inflation last print was 1.7 percent. Your comfort zone is 2 to 4 percent. How have you managed to keep inflation here? How real is the upside risk to inflation? And when will you realistically think about hiking rates? Our inflation uh, target, as you said, 2 to 4 percent. Now, 1.66 percent. We are still long away to even between two to four. First, our output gap is still negative. Even with 4.7 to 5.5% next year, we are still operating in negative output gap, meaning the increasing demand still be able to be made by domestic production. First, uh, that's the first reason. Second, inflation expectation is well anchored and exchange rate stability pass through is very small. You asking about our forecast, where will be the likelihood of inflation, uh, you know, pressure. I think in our exercise will be coming, uh, you know, uh, to us sometime between the, you know, uh, the, the, the second quarter of 2023. I think that's the thing. That's why I said Bank Indonesia will continue to maintain 3.5 percent next year until we see some early sign of the inflation pressure. I think that's the meaning of what we are saying, uh, uh, Tanvir. 